the preseason AP poll for Division One women's basketball has been released, and it goes as follows: South Carolina with 27 first place votes, UConn with two first place votes, USC with one first place vote, Texas, UCLA, Notre Dame, LSU, Iowa State, NC State, Oklahoma, Duke, Baylor, Kansas State, Ohio State, North Carolina. West Virginia, Louisville, Maryland, Florida State, Ole Miss, Creighton, Kentucky, Nebraska, Alabama, and, and Indiana. Now, there are several receiving vote teams. Iowa with 37, TC with 30, Utah with 24, Illinois with 23, Stanford with 17, Gonzaga with 16, Michigan State with 16, Vanderbilt with 12, South Dakota State with 7, Miami, Florida with 4, Tennessee with three, Middle Tennessee State with three, Fairfield with three, Georgia Tech with two, Syracuse with one, and Princeton with one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, go right ahead and go over top 25 games for Week One from November 4th through 10th. And there are some. Number five, UCLA versus. Number 17, Louisville, in Paris, France. And granted, we do not know some of the times for these games. It's not listed on ESPN right now. So just to let you know. Okay, there's another one like on the November 4th as well. Number 20, Ole Miss, versus number 3, USC, in Paris, France as well. And that game is going to be at 11 a.m., apparently, so... Just want to make note of that, the, those type of games. And I apologize for looking down because I, can, I cannot memorize all this stuff. Can... Okay, now November 10th is literally last one. Number 11, Duke. At number 18, Maryland. At noon on FS1, on Central Time. By the way, on these times here. Then there's number 9, NC State, versus number 1, South Carolina. But the game will be in Charlotte, North Carolina at Spectrum Center. So just so you all know. By the way and that's all the games right there and before I dive into my top 10 on the AP poll itself 8 through 12 you could say in any particular order so I'm just saying that right now and it goes as far as from my top 10 and it's similar South Carolina UConn USC Texas UCLA Notre Dame LSU Iowa State Baylor and NC State so if you don't want to say like Baylor and NC State, you go right ahead and put Oklahoma and Duke, that's fine. Or even Iowa State, throw them out as well. So really, that's just naming all those five teams. And those five teams have a debate to be in the top ten, in my opinion. And that's not looking at, obviously, would be two of those five teams that have to be automatically out in Iowa State, Baylor, NC State, Oklahoma and Duke but no matter what Kansas State's definitely outside looking in for me the same thing goes for Ohio State North Carolina West Virginia and Louisville and I would go over like bracketology once it gets to February when we see more games occur and like and I will go over like quality games as in like the Last four, I mean, last four out, next four out type of teams up to like automatically, they should be in the NCAA tournament. I'm not even going to include games that it's like a bubble team versus a team that's automatically not going to make the NCAA tournament unless they win their conference tournament. Like a 3 and 20 team, by the way. So, but that'll be like later on down the line in all this. And we'll have to wait and see what happens in week one. Obviously, when these games really do get played from November 4th to November 10th before the next poll. And I'm not going to change the poll until the next AP poll comes out, which will probably be like November 
11th for me I am not changing it so and anyways if you like this content hit the like and subscribe button see you guys later on the road to seven scribes of course ultimate goal is a thousand more is my money on this course like a video comment video really helps YouTube algorithm so more people see it sharing the video does help as well so more people can watch and if you're watching and not subscribe hit subscribe button for the notification bell as well